Hello, I'm Kenny Lowry. Today we're going to take a look at what we're going to call the Rustic Ocean Blue Jar. Now this has got a rustic finish to it. It is blue as you can see. I see browns in it, kind of yellow, different colors in it. This is one of those jars that's going to bridge the gap between um, a high glossy glazed jar and, a, and an earth tone color that will kind of blend the most. So you got the high glossy glazed jars that stand out the most and you got the rustic jars that have that Maybe the chuck texture jars, things like that, that'll blend in a little more. This one kind of is in that in-between area. So it's kind of a safe bet if you're kind of concerned that maybe one of those uh, glossy jars is going to pop too much. And then maybe the rustic ones, you think, well, that's going to blend too much. I want a little more uh, pop to it. Then this is going to be an in-between jar. Um, it has that rustic finish. It still has the blue, so you're introducing color into your landscape. It's a pretty safe bet to use. Now this is one of those jars that uh, came in made as a fountain. We don't typically like those. Uh, we think they have design flaws on them, but this one had a deep enough bowl on the top of it, even though it is a sol solid bowl. We'll show you that with the camera. It gave us enough room to get in there and drill it out and, and make it uh, fix the design flaws that we think they have. The intake flow on this was uh, 3 8 pipe. That's just not enough. So we drilled that out, put our own 3 quarter inch on that, uh, we also give us enough of a uh, depth there that we could put a LED light ring in it. Some of the ones that are so so flat on top really don't have enough room there to even put a light. So this one allowed us to put a light in it. Uh, right now, I'll grab the camera. We'll take a close-up look at it. So what we've done uh, is drill that out, put our own copper pipe in it, because it was a, it was actually deep enough to allow us to do that. So you can I don't know if you could see that or not, but. You know, it's probably four inch depth there, something like that. So it is deep enough to allow us to get in there and fix the design flaw. Right, right now we'll take a look. You can see maybe a little green over here. Uh, kind of a white, blue, brown. Uh, these rustic jars, of course, are all going to be a little different. They're fairly consistent, but a little different. You get up here on the rim, a little more brown on the rim. Got a nice sound on it because you got that water falling on water. Some of the flat top ones don't have that much sound, and that's kind of one of the reasons we stay away from those flat top ones. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach me at 540-948-2239 or email me, Kenny at southerngraceva.com.